Hey guys, welcome back. Laz is here for Tuts Plus again, and in the next couple of parts, we're going to go ahead and finish this bottom piece off, and also we're going to go ahead and start creating um, this top piece. Now, due to that, I couldn't find any good references. I worked ahead and I created it, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this aside, and we're going to use this as a reference. Okay, so we're still going to create this. Um, together so as far as I know uh, we left off I'm pretty sure that we left off um, somewhere along here so we had this created and I'm pretty sure that I went ahead and I changed the size of this so what I did is I just done smooth it go to vertex mode and I selected um, I selected all these vertices on that side and then I just drag them in so it's a little bit thicker, okay, so I'll just give you guys a better look at it so you know how it's looking. So after we got this piece created, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to add one more little touch to it uh, that I noticed on one of the references. And all it is is we're going to use one of these cubes um, that we have on other cylinder. So you're just going to duplicate it over I drag it over and obviously you're going to go ahead and get this out of that group. So I find it where it is. There we go. Now we can close that group. And um, just go ahead and modify center pivot so you can move it around easier. And basically this piece is just gonna be on one side. Well, only on this side. And it's gonna sit somewhere along here. Okay, so pretty close to a screw, not too far. Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust um, the size of this, so I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these vertices on this side and I'm just going to go ahead and drag them in like so okay and I think that was a bit too much, I'll push it out a little bit okay so that looks good and now I'm going to select all of those vertices and we're going to drag these in so they're not hanging outside so I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this, see how this is looking. And I think we're going to go ahead and push this in just a bit. Maybe pull it out this way. And again, I'm doing this roughly by eye, and we're going to go ahead and scale it down just a bit. Okay, so it looks something like that. I think we might drag it out just a bit more. Like so. Okay, so that's it. Uh, now we can go ahead and move this into our group. I did go ahead and start sorting some of the groups out. Uh, you might not have that, so you can go ahead and group your parts together just so it's a bit um, cleaner to work with. Uh, so now I'm just going to move this into that group. Okay, so once we have that, we can go ahead and duplicate this over. So I'm just going to hit Control D. And then while my scale is on, I'm going to go ahead and give it X minus 1 to duplicate it over like so. Okay. So once we have that, we did add this um, little extrusion in here. But then I looked around the references and I think the best way to connect these together is by a cylinder. So we're just going to go ahead and go to modify, make live. And then we're going to use a cylinder and we're going to make it roughly, well probably around that big, we're going to scale it up anyway and then we're just going to give it a height so it intersects with that and then the inputs we're going to go ahead and give it around um, probably like 30 subdivisions so it's nice and smooth and now we can go ahead and scale this up so for this you can um, again give it your own touch so um, you can go ahead and make this a bit more complicated but um, I didn't really want to, so I'm just going to leave it fairly simple, and I think this looks all right. So you're going to leave it that as it is. I'm just going to go ahead and turn off this make live, and I'm going to go ahead and isolate this piece, just so you can add in the loops. Go into my side view, go to faces, select all of these, and now you can go ahead and just go to extrude and give it about 0 0.01 offset okay and then go to our insert edge loop tool 
and add a loop in here and another loop around here okay so now we can go ahead and smooth this come out for isolate and this is what we're going to end up with okay so that piece is created now and it looks okay so now before my time runs out what we're going to do is we're going to start creating um, this piece so it's going to be fairly similar to the uh, pieces that we made before so it shouldn't be too complicated so we're going to start off again with a pipe in our side view so there, there we go with the pipe and I'm just going to drag one out um, probably around that big and give it some height and drag the thickness out probably around there will do and again I'm just looking at my reference to make sure that it's okay and I'm just going to scale this up a bit move it and then in my perspective mode I'm just going to go ahead and move this where it's supposed to be so I'm kind of going for this to be um, around where the cuts are for the threads so roughly around there um, let me just have a look how thick they are okay right so we're just going to go ahead and in vertex mode we're just going to go ahead and select some of these and just drag them in a bit to make it a little bit thinner and adjust it so now we can go ahead and just use our insert edge loop tool and put one around here so not exactly in the center and then we can go ahead and select all of these faces and we're going to go ahead and extrude them so I'm just going to give it some thickness I want this to be fairly um, fairly deep something like that okay so once we have that we're going to go ahead and start working on the back side of this um, if I just show you guys if I can go ahead and isolate this piece oh not that face the actual object there we go so this is what we're going to end up with so as you guys can tell we just done this bit and now we're going to make the back bit look something like this okay it's fairly simple so let's go ahead and start creating this so oh let me just remind myself again okay there we go right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add an edge loop to this as well around here and we can go ahead and double select these faces and extrude them probably around there okay and then once we have that we can just go to edge and select this loop and we're going to go ahead and extrude them so I'm going to go ahead and scale them in now I'm just going to go ahead and push them in a little bit like so, so we end up with something like this okay so probably around that deep and then once I have that I'm going to extrude again turn off my offset so it doesn't freak out and then I'm just going to scale them in like so okay once you have that you can go ahead and shift right click and go to vertices and now we can go ahead and shift right click merge vertices to center okay so basically we've got a piece created now we just gotta go ahead and add in all the loops that we need and then create the inner part of this okay so let's go ahead and start adding in the loops use our insert edge loop tool and we should be pretty good at this by now I might have made it a little bit different than um, what it looks like on Wally, but this is a pretty um, hard bit to see um, on re on the pictures that I could find at Wally of how this actually looks like. So mo most of these um, parts that are like fairly deep inside the model, uh, such as these and probably some of these inner workings, um, we're gonna have to go ahead and improvise quite a lot of it. Um, but we're gonna have to see later on down the line of um, how good reference pictures I can get and hopefully it will end up looking pretty good and so far it looks quite nice so 
hopefully it will stay that way. So again, I'm just setting in these loops. There we go, and we're just going to add in loops for this as well. So we're going to have to go ahead and select these faces real quick. We should have done it when we're doing the extrusions, but I've forgotten. And I'm going to go ahead and just scale this in a bit, like so. And let's go ahead and smooth it to see how it's looking. Seems like we're getting a bit of a freakiness going on here. But actually I quite like that rim around there. Let's just go ahead and add another loop just to make it even tighter. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I quite like that little rim in there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to create the inner piece for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, duplicate basically one of these and we're going to move them up. So let's control D, just move it out of the way and then find it in our previous group. There it is. I'm just going to drag it out and I'm just going to go ahead and scale this down. Hold down V and try to snap in the middle. Hopefully it went in the middle. Yep, it did. And now I can just move it out just a bit. So I don't want it all the way on the edge. I do want this rim around here. Okay. So now I'm just going to go into our side view and just scale this up a bit more. Like so. And I think we're going to go ahead and just adjust some of these edges. So I'm going to push this one down a bit. And I'm also going to go ahead and push this one down a little bit. And then go ahead and smooth it. And I might go ahead and just scale it up this way a little bit, like so. Okay, so that looks great. And now we can go ahead and we're going to go ahead and um, add these screws to it, okay? So let's go back into our side view and just select one of them, duplicate it, move it over so it's out of the way. And then again, we're going to go ahead and find where it is and drag it out of the group so our group stay clean. And now I'm just going to turn on um, X-ray just to see where this meant to be sitting and I'm roughly, I'm only going to position them quite roughly. Uh, well actually, we'll probably put it around there. Once I have that, I'm just going to press insert and snap my pivot into the center of this and I can go ahead and duplicate this again and uh, rotate. Drop it around 90 degrees. And then go ahead and do that again. Okay, and let's duplicate this one as well. Rotate 90. And there we go, we've got our screws created. Come out of our X ray view. And that looks okay. We're just going to go ahead and select all of them, and group them together. And then go to modify the center pivot. And I think we're going to go ahead and scale these down just a bit, like so, and then push them further into our mesh. So you should get something that looks like that. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and uh, duplicate these. I'm gonna group them all together first, and I think I might just move them out a bit, a little bit more. Okay, that's great. So let's go ahead, select all of these, and uh, group them together. So I'm just gonna name this, um, what should I name it? Let's name it Fred. Gear top. It's not really a gear, but I'll know what I mean. Left. Okay, so once we have this, we can go ahead and duplicate this over. And 
and go to scale if I'm not on scale already we should center the pivot I'm just going to delete the one that I duplicated and then go to modify center pivot duplicate and then scale x minus 1 and now we can go ahead and just move this over like so okay so that looks pretty good now we can go ahead and just make the cylinder for this inner part and now that we added some little extra detail to this I'm gonna make a little bit different than this one so I'm gonna go ahead and add the cylinder around here that comes out from here so I'm just gonna go ahead and unsmooth this make it live and then create a new cylinder from around here and probably it's going to sit somewhere there and then again drag our height and just go to modify make live modify make not live again just to delete that and then I'm going to go ahead and change probably like 30 for the subdivision and I'm just going to make sure that this both sits inside the center. Isolate this, go into a side view, select all the faces, extrude, offset, not point, not one. And the reason why I'm doing it fairly fast now is because most of these you guys should know of by heart. So hopefully you guys can follow along. Let's go ahead and smooth this, come out of isolate and see how it's looking. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm fairly happy with that. I'm probably more happy with that than the old one. So now that we have this uh, bottom one created, we're basically just going to duplicate it around for the top part. And then we can go ahead and start um, creating the bit that sits inside the um, center. So I might go ahead and just scale this up a bit more. Let me just think. Ah, the, yeah. Yeah, I like that look. Okay, so I just scaled it up a little bit. And before we go ahead and duplicate it over, we're going to duplicate um, this cylinder and just scale it down in size, like so, and then scale it up. Probably make sure that it sits in the center ish. We scale it up a bit more. Okay, so we get this little rim sort of thing. I might even make it a little bit thinner. Like so, okay. And now we can go ahead and duplicate all this stuff, all these parts together. And go to modify center pivot and name it red is top. one and this cylinder should be in this group not that one that one that one there we go okay so I just name that and now we're going to go ahead and just duplicate this and we're going to go ahead and move this up and it's going to sit somewhere along here it is a bit off our reference but that's not a problem so now I'm just going to make sure that this is sitting at the right place as well so nearly touching them threads and there we go, a piece is created. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and create this inner piece in the next couple of parts because we're running out of time. So um, got this out of the way and we just gotta create this connection piece and then we can start connecting everything together. That should be fairly complicated to figure out for me, not for you because you just gotta copy it. So. Uh, hopefully it's going to look really good at the end once we create it and we should be able to finish the threads in the next um, couple of parts. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next part.